what you show me so far, Tabuchka, I'm not very impressed with California, U.S. of A. Gee, Vasily, visitors just love Disneyland. Huh, got much better place in Moscow, without big mouths walking in streets. Now, wait a minute, Vasily. You only got me one. Chuck burger is not enough. American hamburgers very puny. American hamburgers are not puny. They're the best in the world. Oh, in Russia, we got Lenin burgers. Plenty cheese, plenty pickles, and this big. <laughs> well, maybe so, but this is a special hamburger. The Americans invented it for people like you with large appetites. What make it so special? I think I take this back to Russia. We find secret. Good luck. Where to next? I would like to see your apartment. See how Americans live. Sure. We'll take the freeway. Too bad you don't have beautiful subway like in Moscow. American freeways, crowded, smelly. Well, it's either that or we fly. <laughs> what happened? What, what are we? In front of my apartment. But how? Automatic freeway. You have those in Moscow, don't you? Well, of course. We invented them. <laughs> Other families are at work. What other families? Well, ones who share apartment with you. Oh, no. I live here alone. Oh, he's good. Now we will not be disturbed. Come, Tabushka. Uh, wait a minute, Vasily. Behave yourself. Then I block door. Notice only way out. Uh, listen, I'm just going to pop out for a while while you cool off. Of course, all women are powerless with Vasily. I mean, I know what you're doing, but that's my niece. Oh, Aunt Minerva, it's okay. Vasily's really harmless. And so am I. I've lost all my powers. Tabitha. <laughs> And your cold's back. Amazing. Automatic woman come into room faster than secret police. You better behave yourself, you big, virile socialist savage. I go back to hotel now. I think maybe walk cleared my head. Just jet lag, Vasily. I'll see you tomorrow at the arena. I hope this is the last time you'll force yourself on a defenseless woman. If not, I'm usually at this number. <laughs> da. Da. Goodbye. American women. Toll free behind the Iron Curtain. <laughs> well, let's see. What home remedies do I have when my first home remedy doesn't cut it? Oh, no, Aunt Minerva, I think we should call Dr. Bombay. He's been our family doctor for years. Well, all right, if you want a second opinion. Well, Aunt Minerva, if I sneeze during the wide world of sports, it'll ruin everything. Let's see, how does mom do it? Calling Dr. Bombay! Calling Dr. Bombay! Tabitha, obviously you haven't learned how to deal with the medical profession. <clears throat> hey, Bombay! <laughs> Dr. Bombay is out. Oh, darn it. I wonder when he'll be back. Hours 9 to 5, no night calls, no Wednesdays. No malpractice insurance. Well, we'll find him. Before you know it, I'll, I'll be fit as a fiddle. <laughs> oh, bad.